So here we're going to factor the quadratic x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now, because there's no number in front of the x squared, a equals one or the coefficient is one, you could set it up like this, x plus x plus, and then the numbers here, they're going to multiply to a 25 and add to a 10. You could do that. But this one does follow the perfect square trinomial format, right? So we have an x squared out in front, and then we have another number squared out in back. In this case, 25 is a five squared. So we have a square and a square. So most likely it's going to be a perfect square trinomial to where we have x whatever this is if that if this is a minus here then you put a minus there parentheses squared and then the number that goes here well that's the square root of the number here 25 in this case here so square root of 25 is going to be a 5 so there would be your answer there now why does this work because some people are freaked out because it's a x squared and a 5 squared well where does that 10 come from well remember if you were to foil this out this 2 means you have 2 x plus 5 is being multiplied so your outers is a 5x and the inners is a 5 5x. 5x and 5x, you have two 5x's added up, make 10x there. So again, if you start with a square, you end in a square, you're most likely going to have a perfect square trinomial. So your answer will look like this. You just have to remember that this sign here matches this sign here.